Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the switch action in Power Automate. If you enjoy Power Automate, Power Apps, Power BI, SharePoint Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more tutorials in those areas. So now for my intro. All right, so for my use case, I need to use the switch statement. It's going to be for when a user submits a new form. So based on the priority of the project submitted, I'm going to send an email to different managers. If it's low, it'll go to one manager. If it's normal, to another, and so on and so on. And to do this, we're going to use the switch statement in Power Automate. And so let's go ahead and start creating the uh, flow. I just have a basic form here to collect some information. I have a SharePoint list that I'm going to show and store the information in so it's easier for us to see. And then I'm going to send all the emails to my Outlook inbox so we can see. All right, in Power Automate, we are going to start creating the flow. So this is going to be an automated cloud flow because every time a new Microsoft form is submitted, we want to collect that data. And we will just name this switch action. And the trigger will be when a new response is submitted. Okay, so for the form ID, it's going to be whatever my form name is, and that is submit a marketing project. Your form is enlisted there. Make sure you have uh, part ownership or are the owner of it. So for choose an operation that we want to get the response details. So get response details and we want to do this because we want to collect the information that was submitted along with the form. So again, form ID is the same one you used for when a new response is submitted. The response ID is going to be when a new response is submitted. That response ID, it should be the only one listed there. Let's go ahead and create a list item for our SharePoint so we can document all the items coming in item my SharePoint site is marketing and my list name is marketing projects so we just need to include the response details I just have a few of the information in my form I just didn't want to uh, drag you guys along manually mapping all this stuff the name of the project is going to be the title and for the priority we want to do this priority on the project and then I have what type of project is this so let's go ahead and enter the project and I have the notes so any notes on this project so that will log every form submission to a SharePoint list that we can check up on and now we want to do the switch action so we can email the managers based on the priority so if you type in switch for choose an action it will be this one and so we have to choose a value for the on and we want to look at the priority value coming in from the get response details you can also do the create item so it's going to be the same thing and that would be in my case the priority value but i'm just going to get it from the get response details so get response details what is the priority of this project and that will give me either low, normal, high, or critical in a string. So I just need to match up the strings. So for my first case over on the left-hand side, the equals, my first one is low. So if that form is submitted with low, it will run that case. If it's submitted with normal, I'll show you guys in a few seconds what that will look like. Let's go ahead and add a send an email action. So send an email. I'm going to send this to myself because I don't have four other accounts to send this to, but I will include in the subject line that the priority and then just include the priority value associated with this so we can see which case actually came in. So was the priority for this project. And then just for the body, I will include the priority again. Okay, so we need to add three other cases because I have three other answers here, normal, high, and critical. So on this plus sign, add case, uh, it will add another case. And in my case, I want to do normal. And then again, we will do the send an email action. 
And let's see if I can copy it to clipboard and just do it that way. So I copied it to clipboard by clicking on the triple dot, add an action, my clipboard, send an email v2. Uh, sometimes this doesn't work. I noticed when I tried doing this earlier with the switch statement, it didn't work. So we just have to recreate this by hand. So send an email. And yeah, we have some failed to find in definition. I don't feel like troubleshooting that right now. And uh, I don't know if I can. So we will just create this again. So priority. And then again, for the dynamic content, just wanna see what priority this is. Probably just copy and paste the. So let's go ahead and move along to our other two outputs. So this next one is high. And then again, I'm just creating the send an email action. Send an email v2 for Outlook. There we go. And now we just need to do critical. And make sure you guys, when you enter in these equals over here, to not include a space after this because that will throw off um, the switch checking. So it's gonna check and see that it has that space. It's not gonna match it because the characters don't equally match because there's a space at the end. So if you guys are having an issue where it should be coming in and doing that test case, just make sure you guys don't have any spaces at the end. You could probably toss a trim function in there, but um, maybe I'll show that in another video. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a send an email again. Do myself. Priority. Okay, this should be all set. And it kind of looks funny because uh, it spans horizontally. And if you don't have an ultra wide monitor, it could look uh, very long and get the slime bar at the bottom. So the default case, if no case contains a matching value, that's what it's going to default to. In my case, this is a required question. So it's always going to have a value associated with it. If I didn't, I can do like a send an email to someone else and be like, hey, no priority associated with this a request. What do you want to do with it? But we won't do that. All right, so the flow looks good. Let's go ahead and submit some marketing projects. First, it's going to store it in the SharePoint and then it's going to send the email. And I will just go back out here and then we'll check out the output. Okay, so preview, do low priority for the project name, below, celebration, no notes, submit. And we'll just do this a couple times. It'll be Bertha. High priority meetings. And this last one will be critical. Revenue. Okay, so we just submitted four forms. So the flow should run four times. Go ahead and check this out. So they all succeeded. So everything I wrote in the flow code worked. And let's go ahead and check to see if it created those items. It did, low priority, normal, high, and critical. And let's go ahead and check my email. All right, so we have four emails. We have the priority low, priority normal, priority high, and priority critical. If I had four different users, I would show you them on four different accounts, but that would take a while but you can see that it ran based on the test case and I'll just run through these test cases pretty quickly with y'all. So the first one should be low because that's the first form submitted. So get response details. Priority of the project was low and the switch statement did case one and it's done it because it was equal to low. And let me move my webcam so you guys can see this. So low. Now let's go look at the second one. Your response details, normal. 
and the switch case 2 ran successfully because it matched normal. Uh, this is the third form submitted. High priority. So it should have ran test case 3. Case 3 right here equals high. And for the fourth one, response details critical. Switch. And it ran the fourth case. So that's how you guys would use the switch action in Power Automate. I use this a couple times depending on the workflow you're using. Obviously, it's a specific one. So if you have like a choice that comes in and you want to do something else depending on that choice, this would be the action you want to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like. If you have any comments, leave a comment down below. And I will catch you in the next video.